good morning uh, so it's the next day and we're about to go on an all-day tour around Ubud so we're gonna go to two temples and we're gonna go to the Bali swing and I believe we may have lunch at the Bali swing I'm not sure um, but our driver is about to pick us up he actually should be here now so we're about to walk to the front and of course we'll take you guys along with us good morning y'all we are at Oh, let me stop going down these steps real quick. Make sure I'm focused so I don't fall or something. We are at uh, Tortaganga Water Temple. Um, so they have like a lot of koi fish and um, a lot of little boats and things like that here. So we're gonna chill here for like a couple minutes and then um, take some photos or whatever. got to Bali swing it was maybe an hour and 30 minutes from Turtaganga where we just left um, so we're going to go in and be on the swings and in the nest and things hopefully the lines aren't too long and I'm not sure if we're going to eat here or if we're going to eat somewhere else I'm not sure we're just gonna wing that part um, but yeah I'm over driving around now so um, you don't have to do a package, but there's an entrance fee that has a package that has like eight swings. I, I don't remember the exact number, several nests, um, other photo spots, and lunch, coffee, teas, something else. So that's 35 US dollars. Um, then there's like helicopters and stuff like that that's a different fee. Um, we're not doing that. And then you have option of having a personal photographer follow you around, take pictures for you, um, and then they send them all to you, and that's 12 US dollars. Uh, so if you're wondering how much it is to go to Bali Swing, but there's several swings around Bali um, that are less uh, of a cost. Um, but this is the first, this is the official Bali Swing, and this is the first swing in Bali, and the kind of others kind of follow suit and kind of created some. But yeah, we're gonna. Brad's almost gonna check in there. Alright, we're at the Bali Spring. I think Tiffany's already said that. Um, there's lines, um, as to be expected. Uh, I guess the earlier you come, the less lines it is, and, you know, it's not that long. Um, yeah, yeah. So we went ahead and uh, signed up for the signed Tiffany up for the unlimited photos. So <laughs> you can take as many photos as you want to uh, with, the, with their professional photographers they have here right. so for me this fit to be a breeze for me I, he was but, like, I don't think we, I was like, well, I don't get it, it'll be less stressful for you to take photos, but I'm hoping they know what they're doing because I want my photos to be good, I'm not going to be hitting, so I'm done. Hold on. 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 Ryan's going. <laughs> Yo, Tiffany has the Tiffany has the biggest sweet tooth. Uh, on the way to all these uh, places, my hat's all messed up. Um, 
the driver had these things called mojitos. And we had like mojita. We had like two of them. But Tiff Tiffany loved them. So she was like, fly on my face. Uh, <laughs> Tiffany loved them. So she pretty much just bought literally the whole, all the bags on the rack. Everything's not meant for the vlog. There's some light pops there. It's not all there. for me. It's not all for me. She said it's not all for her, it's but not. we'll see. It's for a couple, couple family members, a couple other people. So, yeah. One bag is for me. One bag is for Bryce. One bag is for my sister's children. One bag is for my brother's children. And then one bag Brian wanted for the lollipops. Yes, we'll eat some of Ryan's bag. Absolutely. All right, so we are back in the room. Um, we have massages set up for this evening, but we have a few hours to spare between now and then. So we're going to just relax in the villa, probably hop in the pool, get some dinner at some point before the massage or after. I don't know. It depends on how hungry we get. And um, grab a little drinky drink. We still have a beer because you have one free um, mini bar. So we still have a beer in there, but we also have the Jack Daniels that we bought at the airport. I don't know if y'all remember that. And we have Cokes in the fridge, so. Uh, just gonna enjoy the amenities and enjoy this sun. Hopefully it's sunny enough to for the pool water not to be too cold. But um, we're probably not going to vlog the massage part. <laughs> That'll be a little awkward. Um, so just know that we'll get a massage tonight. Good morning. Um, <clears throat> I'm trying to get to this dang on yoga session. I'm already like a minute late. Woke up a little late, so hopefully um, they haven't got too far. I'm probably just going through the grieving process right now, I'm assuming. So I don't know where exactly where I'm going, actually. So hopefully I'm not too late. This damn resort is a big ass, it's a big maze. Um, so I'm trying to get in, maybe I'll get a couple clips in there while I'm doing yoga. And I'll drop all together down. Let's come into a cobra or baby cobra of no cup. And come back to the downward facing dog. <clears throat> Step your right foot forward between your hands. Then drop your left knee. Toes pointing back and drop your weight forward no cup. Raise the arms up. Arch your back. Bend forward. Bend the knees, reach the arms up into the Ukatasana. Stretch your knees, interlace your fingers, raise your heels, Tadasana. Stretch your arms. All right, just finished the session of yoga. Um, feel really relaxed and uh, real flexible right now. <laughs> yeah, did a lot of downward dogs and stuff like that, and whatever the other things are called out, I don't really remember. But uh, yeah, I'm heading back to the uh, villa right now. Um, probably gonna get some breakfast with Tiffany and uh, I don't know probably hang out for like a few hours until it's time to check out but anyway all these damn steps in this damn resort bro that's what I tell you after doing the yoga and doing the workout this last thing I'm gonna do is all these damn steps but anyway talk to y'all later good morning guys um, I know Brian already vlogged on the yoga. I don't know if he mentioned that this is our last day in Bali when he did that. But it's our last day here. Uh, so we're headed to breakfast. We don't, our flight doesn't leave until tonight. So we have <clears throat> basically another full day. Um, but we have to check out officially at noon. And then we can still chill around the resort or we could go to Ubu down, like Ubu market area. Um, and then we're going to have to 
whether we stay at the resort or go downtown to Ubud or not, we're gonna have to come back to the hotel because we have a transfer. They're taking us to the airport. So yeah, we'll let you guys see what we get for breakfast and take it from there. We don't really know what we're gonna get into today. Morning. Morning. Good morning. Okay, breakfast is served. They have a mix of Indonesian dishes and Western dishes. So I have a waffle, bacon, some chicken and noodle, rice, and this is fish and white sauce. This is brine, so plates. Potato, corn, looks like you have some um, French toast. What's the thing in the middle? Oh, this pancake? Thing? Oh, pancake, yeah. All right guys, so we've officially checked out and um, now we're just gonna chill at the resort. We decided to stay at the resort and not go into um, Ubu just so we can enjoy the pool and stuff. The Lord knows what Tiffany might buy. Anyway, <laughs> Brian's a hater, y'all. He is such a hater. Um, I and then bought some two uh, kimono. What it was, what? You come up, what? You think so? What? No, it was a robe in the room. Just like a kimono robe. The thing was so soft, y'all. I had to have one. I knew the first day when we got here when I said that thing on, I was gonna buy one. So I go to buy one, and guess he's supposed to grab me one too. But he hating, but he wanted to grab one too. So. Yeah, we're just um, lounging by the pool. We just ordered some beer and we'll probably just have lunch by the pool too. Um, we have about three hours just to lounge and relax and enjoy our last bit of time. I'm so sad to leave. Um, I miss Bryce though, so yeah, but we've had a great time here. We'll definitely come back. Thank you. Yeah, we'll definitely come yes. back. Um, we definitely recommend this resort. Yes, the service is spectacular. The food is good. The spa treatments we had last night. Oh, I don't know if we updated y'all about that. Did you talk to them about that? No. They were good. <laughs> so we both had a one hour Indonesian massage and it was very comfortable. Listen, I asked that lady to do a little firm. She damn near separated my shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but it was bomb though. It was bomb though. Well, the thing about it is they give you a survey and you can select like if you have any tension in certain areas, what skin type you have. Um, if you're allergic to any oils and then like the pressure you want so you can do soft medium or firm yeah. Brian know he don't like no firm. He know he likes medium massages But he tried to get up in the room and try to stunt and try to act like he wanted firm I tried to thug And it then out. I was he said I he tried to, to thug it out. I was in pain for like 10 minutes. I was like, so You need to chill on this shit She put her whole elf, her whole forearm like she got on top, like, I don't know if the lady got on top of you. Yeah. Yeah, she got on top of me with fire. I was like, whoa. <laughs> I mean, but my, 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 I don't feel the intention in my left, in my left, cause I felt it in my, in my left side of my, uh, well, at first I felt it in my right side. I told her it was my right, but I guess she, through the process of, of giving me a side, she was like, it's in your left. So she just went ham on the left. <laughs> I was like, do what you do. She trying to get the tension out. Yeah, she damn sure did. But they tell you, they're like, you know, they say, is this pressure okay? And you say yes or no. And they say, at any moment, if you need me to change the pressure, let me know. I said, Brian, why didn't you tell them that it was too far? He was like, I ain't one sound. I ain't no wimp. Like, he was like, I was trying to thug it out. I'm like, oh my gosh, you sound ridiculous. Uh, so, yeah. If we, if anything interesting happens, I mean, we'll cover that. I, I, I'm, I don't know if we will, though. I'll give you all, oh, we already showed you all this pool, but this is our view. We just ordered some bentang. I don't know if this is your first vlog you're tuning into or not, but this is their the official beer for Bali. Uh, and this is the amazing pool. We're on one side of it. The pool bar is on the other side. You can kind of see it there, but you can't see the actual seats and stuff. The food is here. My garang for me. Some type of burger for Brian. With the upside down this? bun. Why is this on upside down? <laughs> Why? Just for the presentation, now my, my dear. Now my bun got cheese juice on it. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I got a confession to make. <laughs> my right butt cheek is killing me. I'm going to everyone, I busted my butt and I feel like my <laughs> butt has been killing me ever since. Well, he busted a long time ago. He busted in Simiac. Yeah, in Simiac. I was getting out of the pool and I forgot what I was trying to do. I was trying to turn you something were... off. Or to, yeah, to yeah, I don't remember what you were trying to do. And like the tile, like this tile right outside the uh, the water, a pool. And like I slipped like a mother. <laughs> and my ass is still hurting to this day. Yeah, I was in the pool. I missed the fall. I just heard I just heard him hit the ground. And I was like, oh my God, are you okay? Still hurt to this day. 
But anyway. So, yeah, we're about to eat. We have about an hour and a half before we have to leave. <laughs> Alright guys, we are at the lobby. Um, ready to check out. It's been an awesome vacation. Definitely would come back to Bali in an instant. Highly recommend it to everyone out there. Um, make it as affordable as you want it to and you can make it as expensive if you want to. Um, but also it's a great place with a lot of culture. Make sure you follow us on all platforms, IG, Facebook, Twitter, um, Forza, Instagram, Forza Chronicles. We also have a Facebook group called Family Travel Chronicles um, where we just share deals we find, people post pictures, people ask questions. Um, so it's a, it's related to us, but it's not a, it's not the same thing as us. Like we don't post our videos or anything up there, but we just have it as a forum for people to communicate about travel. Uh, we're thinking about at some point doing some type of group travel. So if we do do that, it will be posted on there. So feel free to join that group as well on Facebook. Um, but yeah, we hope you enjoyed the Bali vlogs. Um, and just remember that our goal is to inspire people to travel, travel often, travel far, travel near. It's not about where you go. It's about making memories, seeing new places and who you go with. So it could be across the United States. It could be in your country if you're not from the United States. It could be a cruise, by plane, by train. It doesn't matter. It's all about just new experiences with the people you love or by yourself. Uh, so yeah, subscribe. If you find our information useful, it's really, really um, important to us for you to share that with others. Um, when we help others with their travel planning, um, it really makes us feel good. So, you know, if you find things useful, useful tips, useful things about itinerary, if you know someone's planning a trip here, share our channel, share our information. Um, yeah, don't, don't keep it all to yourself. <laughs> but yeah, bye guys. See you in the next one. Peace.